Hello everybody. I'm the airplane expert Hideki. Today we are going to a large diecast model. It's a 148 F104N and 811 NA Starfighter from Franklin Mint's armor collection. The Rockies F-104 was born as the first Mark II class fighter in the U.S. Air Force. Originally designed by Kerry Johnson and his team at Rockies Skunk Works as a day fighter interceptor for the U.S. Air Force, the F-104 Starfighters later found other use as low-level high-speed fighter bombers in the Air Force of several nations. In the U.S. Air Force, it was a short-term operation. However, it is a historic airplane that has been used in 15 countries around the world and has produced a total of 2,578 aircrafts. NASA acquired its first F-104A from the U.S. Air Force in August 1956, and the Bastar High Performance Aircraft soon provide to be ideal for both research, mission support, and pilot training. Became the workhorse in NASA's small stable of high-speed research aircraft. Early on, a modified F-104 tested the reaction control thrusters for the hypersonic F-15 rocket spray. The F-104's short wing and low lift to drag ratio enable it to simulate the F-15's landing profile, which pilots often undertook in F-104's before F-15 flights in order to get them used to the rocket plane's landing characteristics. The training role continued with the lifting bodies. NASA's F-104s were also used for high-speed research after the F-1E was retired. Rocket built three of the aircraft specifically for NASA's requirement, and they were given the NF-104A designation. Two of NASA's F-104s were lost in crashes, including one that cost the life of the center chief pilot Joseph Walker, following a mid-air collision with an XB-70 in 1966, according to NASA's website. Over the course of almost 38 years, from August 1956, through February 1994, the 11 F-104s followed by NASA had accumulated over 18,000 flights at NASA's Dryden in a great variety of missions, ranging from basic research to air bomb simulation and several as an aerodynamic testbed. Another important role for NASA's Starfighters, including fly many safety chase missions, 
in support of advanced research aircraft over the year. One of the retired NASA research pilot and engineer said, the F-104 was our bread and butter airplane. Durability of Space Shuttle Thermal Protection Tile was investigated in flights aboard a Starfighter flow on a special flight test fixture through rain in moisture impact studies. The durability of Space Shuttle Thermal Protection Tiles was investigated in flights aboard a Starfighter flew on a special flight test fixture through rain in the moisture impact studies. The last NASA F-104N Roger Call number 826 flew its final research mission on January 31st, 1994, only four days prior to its final flight. Although several 104s remain in service today with a private firm Starfighters Inc. in Florida. NASA 826's final flight on February 3, 1994 was the last flight of an F-104 in U.S. government service. It was the end of an era. This F-104N, N811NA, is currently on roll on embry Weddell Aeronautical University in Prescott, Arizona. Today, we look at the 148 F-104N Starfighter from Franklin Mint's OMA collection. My airplane videos are available over every Monday. Hope to see you again soon. Break ready now. Thank <laughs> you.